Hello everyone, this is Levent from Kahve Masası. Today I'm gonna review Wakakos Pika Presso, a portable espresso maker. First of all, a small disclosure. This product is provided to me by the local distributor Escobarista and I am not paid for this review and I will send this product back to the distributor after the review. This is a sample unit and there may be some small design changes in the final product. Portable espresso makers are becoming more and more popular and this is one of them. Wakako is famous for their portable coffee equipment and Picapresso is the latest product to create a nice espresso. So you may be familiar with Minipresso. This one was the first portable espresso maker by the company introduced in 2014. Then there were some changes in design, ergonomics and the quality and they introduced the Nanopresso. And the latest one is the Picopresso, which company claims it can produce barista level espresso. But is it true? Let's talk about it. First of all, why company claims this can produce barista level espresso? It's simple. This one is packed with lots of accessories that you can find on the commercial espresso machines, like a metal tamper, like a funnel, and WDT, a distribution tool, and a 52 millimeter basket. So when you combine all of those with this portable 10.5 centimeter device, then they can claim it can produce very nice espresso, which is somewhat true. I agree with the company. As you see, company used high quality materials, not only plastic, but also the metal parts, the steel parts, which makes it a more durable espresso maker. Let's look at the parts closely. If you are familiar with Wakoko products, you know they design and manufacture portable products. It's like a little matrushka. When you open the lid, you can see the high quality metal tamper and the funnel for you to easily fill your coffee into the basket. This funnel is typically sold as an accessory with the other espresso machines. And here is a WDT. It's a simple one, but it does the job. And there is a brush, which I never used during my review or test. I mean, you don't need to use it. And here is the porta filter. But first, this is the water tank from Picapresso. You may be familiar from Minipresso and Nanopresso. It's similar. And here is the shower screen. It's really very nice build. It's metal. And here is where magic happens. This is the 52 millimeter stainless steel basket. Its capacity is 18 grams as company stated, but you can use 16 to 20 grams depending on the coffee beans. I want to tell you about this. This is the innovation on the Pico Presso. You may remove the silicon gasket and put the basket back in and now you have a bottomless unpressurized porta filter. So this is the innovation with the Pico Presso. You can watch your espresso flow and you can correct it accordingly. You can see the channeling while using a naked or bottomless porta filter. It's very easy to use and also to put all the parts together. So you put your coffee, you fill your coffee by using the funnel, then tamp it. You also don't forget to use the WTT. Then what you will do is just put the shower screen on top of the basket, then put it in the Porta filter and close it, then fill the hot water and push the piston several times and enjoy your espresso. It's that simple. So let's make espresso now. Let's talk about the tips and my experience with Picopresso. First of all, if you are not familiar with espresso making, then you will have some difficult times. You need to know tamping, dialing in, dosing. You need to know all those terms regarding the espresso. Otherwise, you will not be able to use this one and get a nice espresso. First thing first. So you need a really good quality grinder. Whether it's a hand grinder or an electric grinder, you need to be able to dial in. I was lucky to have 
Easy press to JMAX and the Commandante with me during my tests, and they both work well with Pico Presso. But without a good hand grinder or an electric grinder, you will not be able to use Pico Presso and get the barista level espresso as they stated. My second tip is on preheating. If you are familiar with espresso, you know you need to preheat at least the porta filter on the commercial machines. But such Portable equipment like Cafelat Robot, Flare Pro 2, Mini Presso, Nano Presso, Compresso, you need to preheat the equipment to minimize the heat loss. Here, you can use the off boil water to preheat the water chamber. I highly recommend preheating this device before using. Then, WDT. Picopresso comes with a distribution tool here, a simple one. I highly recommend to use this distribution tool to distribute the coffee particles, coffee grounds evenly, then tamp accordingly. You can tamp in two ways. First one, you can put the funnel and tamp it this way. But I recommend this if you have like 20 grams, 19-20 grams. Vakako says the capacity is 18 grams, but it depends on the coffee beans, right? You can use 16 to 20 grams of coffee. If you use on the maximum side, you can use the funnel and use the temper that way. But if you are using 16 grams of coffee like myself, I recommend to put the coffee first, then use the WDT tool and temp it this way with your two fingers. Then this will help you to have a even extraction from your puck. Another tip is on pre-infusion. If you are familiar with espresso, you know what pre-infusion is. It's soaking of the coffee particles, your puck, evenly before applying the full pressure. This will help you to have an even extraction and a better espresso. So how you can do this with this small pico presso? It's easy. After pressing 8 to 12 times, this pump you will be able to see the coffee droplets. When you see small droplets, just stop and wait for five to 10 seconds for the pre-infusion, then go on pumping. This will really help with your espresso and it will improve the espresso quality. Just try it out. My last tip. If you want, you may also use a paper filter on top of your puck. You may have heard this from Scott Rao, maybe also other experts, this also helps with the espresso quality. It's not mandatory. I also applied this on Flare and also Kafalat Robot and it really helps. Conclusion. Is it good? Does it worth the money? Can it produce barista level espresso? First of all, I am really impressed with the quality of espresso, espresso produce. Why? The espresso I got from this Capresso is really sweet. It has a nice texture. It has the nice color and it also has the crema that I want from a good espresso. It can definitely produce better espressos than the pressurized basket espresso machines. It's definitely better than mini presso and non espresso. Maybe it's quite similar with an entry level commercial espresso machine. But as I said before, you need to know how to make the espresso and you need to follow the espresso making process like dialing in, tamping, dosing. If you do them all right, then you can really get a barista level espresso. I need to say this one. If you have a good and nice commercial machine at home, this pickup espresso will not replace it. But if you want something portable and if you want to get good quality espresso everywhere, and if you also have a good grinder, then this will do the job for you. Thank you for watching the review. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to our channel and you can follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Bye.